Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. So I've never really been into Funko Pops, you know, I've bought a couple here and there, but I never really liked the whole idea of Funkos, I never really liked the look of the figures. Until I discovered the other day that there's actually an entire brand of Cartoon Network Funko Pops. I was browsing Amazon and saw that there's a line of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends Funko Pops that came out last year that include Mac, Blue, and Eduardo. So I decided, you know what, let me see how the Mac and Blue one are because I really like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. So I bought them and I actually really, really like them so much so that I decided to buy Eduardo and I then learned that there is a bunch of Funko lines for a lot of different Cartoon Network series. Like for example, there is a Wee Bear Bears line that has Grizz, ice bear and panda which i actually picked up from barnes and noble they have a special version of it called flocked where they actually have kind of like a velvet feel to it to kind of emulate how the bears have real fur in the show since they are animals i then discovered there's a line for regular show adventure time steven universe samurai jack the powerpuff girls and the one that intrigued my interest the most and made me want to make this video is that there's a line for classic cartoon network series now this line includes characters such as Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory and Courage from Courage the Cowardly Dog. It has Johnny Bravo. It has Cow and Chicken in it. Also Dee Dee from Dexter's Laboratory. And that's the entirety of the line as it stands right now. So I'm thinking to myself, you know what would be a perfect opportunity for Cartoon Network if they make a 30th anniversary Funko Pop line? And quite frankly, I would honestly be shocked if this didn't happen just because I didn't realize that there were that many Funko Funko Pops out there for Cartoon Network shows. I really thought Funko was mainly, you know, a thing for Star Wars, Marvel, some TV shows here and there. I never really knew that Cartoon Network had this big of a line for Funko. So I really do think that there is a big, big possibility that we will see 30th anniversary Funko Pops this year, and I honestly will be shocked if it doesn't happen. Now, what kind of shows and what kind of characters could we see in this 30th anniversary line? So first and foremost, I think that we might see some more characters from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I kind of found it interesting that we had Blue Mac and Eduardo, but there's no Wilter Coco, so I could definitely see those two characters being a part of the line. Maybe, you know, after that we get some more characters from Foster's, but I could definitely see them making characters for some other Cartoon Network series. Like, it kind of shocked me that Ben 10 doesn't have any Funko Pops. Ben 10 was a financial juggernaut for Cartoon Network. It is the biggest show they have ever made made from my financial perspective and it doesn't have any Funko Pops that was really surprising to me so I definitely think Ben 10 would be included in this line and honestly Ben 10 could probably get its own line of Funko Pops there are so many aliens and so many characters from the Ben 10 universe that you could make figures out of for Funko another show that I am honestly shocked does not have Funkos and I think it's only a matter of time to be honest is the Amazing World of Gumball how is there no Darwin and how is there no Gumball like two pack of Funko that needs to happen, I honestly think it will. Another show is Ed and Eddie. There should be a three-pack with the three Eds. You get Ed, Ed and Eddie in a three-pack. Maybe they come with a jawbreaker, you know, one of them's holding it or something. Maybe we get a Plank figure. Maybe we get a Grimm and Billy and Mandy in a three-pack. Maybe we get, you know, Codename Kids Next Door. We get number one or number two or any of the, you know, characters from that series. This honestly is a line that I feel like has endless possibilities because of all the classic series that Cartoon Network has. I would be, like I said before, shocked if we do not see a special 30th anniversary line for Funko Pops for Cartoon Network, and I honestly think that it is going to happen. I feel like we'll probably get an announcement sometime between now and maybe June or July, because the 30th anniversary is going to be either in August or September, somewhere around there. So I definitely think that we are going to see more Funko Pops from Cartoon Network with a special line for the 30th anniversary of the channel but let me know in the comment section below if you guys knew that there was a whole line of Funko Pops dedicated to these Cartoon Network series and which characters or which shows do you want to be represented in the next wave of Cartoon Network Funko Pops. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.